Hey guys, this is Eric. I'm not streaming, just recording a, a video for YouTube. Um, I wanted to do a quick game analysis of a game that uh, that took place yesterday in the Chess.com Speed Chess Championships between Hikaru Nakamura and uh, and Polish Fighter 3000, also known as Jan Krzysztof Duda. Um, it was one of the most spectacular games of um, at least that I've seen of this year. And um, there were some really sensational moves played. And uh, Hikaru went down in, in just 19 moves with white. And um, I do have to give credit and, and give a shout out to Robert Hess and Danny Wrench, who were doing very enthusiastic and very emotional commentary uh, of, of the whole match, but especially of this game. So I'll, I'll leave a link in the, the video description so people can check that out. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the game and um, see one of the most um, most beautiful masterpieces of this year. So it started off um, kind of ironically as a, a Petrov defense after knight of three, knight of six, which doesn't have the most exciting reputation, um, more symmetrical, more drawish reputation. And Nakamura went for a line uh, after knight takes e5, d6. He played a, a pretty rare move here knight to d3, which looks very strange, uh, especially for perhaps a casual viewer, um, where this knight just kind of blocks a bishop, uh, it blocks a pawn, which blocks this bishop, doesn't seem like the most harmonious move. Um, the more common moves are knight f3 or, uh, or knight c4. Um, but after knight d3, the idea is that after black regains the pawn, white has queen e2, uh, forcing queen e7, and then knight to f4. And now white has ideas of bringing the knight to d5, which is actually a major threat because the queen would then be attacked, the pawn would be attacked, and the black queen is always tied down to defending the knight. Um, so black does have to be a little bit careful here. Uh, Duda went for knight to c6, and then Nakamura played the move pawn to c3. Um, now I should address what would happen after knight to d5. And uh, this position actually occurred in last year's world championship match between uh, Carlson and, uh, and Caruana, uh, Caruana playing the black pieces. And at first in this position, it looks like black's in big trouble because the queen's attacked. And wherever you move the queen, you're either gonna lose the knight or, uh, or the c7 pawn. Um, but black has a very nice move here, which Carlson did play knight to d4. Uh, counter-attacking white's queen and what happened in that game is the queens got traded and uh, for a brief moment all three knights ended up on the e-file as a, a pretty amusing position and uh, last year i was actually taking over the u.s chess twitter feed and i tweeted about this position which i, I did uh dig up the the tweets um that it was a a, a party on the e-file for uh for the knights so let's get back to what happened in the Nakamura Duda game. Nakamura played c3, uh, avoiding the trades, keeping more pieces on the board, preparing pawn d4, also preventing the knight from coming into d4. And then play continued pretty naturally. Black uh, brought the knight back. White plays d4, bishop f5, bishop e3. So avoiding a queen trade, uh, pawn d5, knight d2, castling, and I think this is where Nakamura um, just got a little bit careless and didn't realize Black's, uh, Black's incredible resource, which we're about to see. What should have been played here is pawn g3 to develop the bishop. And it would have been a lot better for white to put the king on the king side. But what Nakamura chose to do was castle queen side. And... Um, at first, this looks completely okay. Like even though Black's bishop is uh, piercing through the position, it still looks like White's king is uh, is pretty safe. Um, however, Black's next move was uh, was simply stunning, and it's not every day that you get to play a move like this. Um, and I think I'll have the the next position in the thumbnail, so um, that's probably a spoiler for most viewers. But the move played was Queen to a three. 
which at first looks like a, a complete joke of a move. But uh, if we just look a little bit further after pawn takes a3, black would be mating uh, with bishop takes a3, a very classic two bishop checkmate. Um, so the queen is untakeable. And with the queen on a3, black has a simple threat of taking the pawn on a2, um, but an even more lethal threat of, of mating. Let's imagine white just uh, plays, plays some random move like h3. Um, it, it's better for black not to take the pawn, but to force the sacrifice of the queen. Queen takes c3, and then bishop a3 mates. So with one um, incredible move, white's, uh, white's in deep, deep trouble here. Um, and of course, Nakamura realized the danger and played what was the best uh, fighting chance in the position, went for queen to b5, uh, ensuring that black is not mating in two. Now if queen takes c3 and bishop a3, white can defend with queen b2. Uh, but the position is still very good for black. Um, after queen b5, black snags a2 pawn. And um, OK, black has advantage here, but it was still a matter of, um, of converting it. And play continued, bishop to d3, uh, trade the bishops, takes, takes, and now knight to a5. So black's really not taking uh, the foot off the gas when it comes to attacking. Um, knight a5 has a few purposes, um, of course eyeing the, the c4 and b3 squares, um, both of which are accessible. Um, on top of that, black also has ideas of lifting the rook, which, uh, which we will see very soon. King c2 here perhaps preparing to, uh, to play rook a1, uh, attempting to, to trap black's queen, uh, do the played queen a4 check, king to b1, and now uh, a very calm, kind of patient move from black, king to b8, not really rushing with attack, and perhaps just taking care of the, the possibility of queen f5, where this would no longer be check. So from this position, white played knight to f3, and now do the proceeds with the rook lift, rook to d6, um, just dreaming of getting the battery along, uh, along the a-file. Uh, Nakamura played knight to d2, rook a6 played, and now the next move from white looked to be um, a, a very reasonable defensive option, uh, queen c2, just trying to, to trade queens and, um, and, and eventually try and survive down a pawn. However, queen c2 is, uh, is a final blunder of the game and uh, I would encourage viewers if you don't see the uh, the winning move for black and if, if you didn't see the game already uh, feel free to pause the video and find the knockout blow for black in this position but yeah the the knockout blow is yet another queen sacrifice queen a1 check telling Nakamura just just take my queen and Nakamura actually just resigned here so the queen was never captured, but if the queen was captured, it's a very beautiful maiden two. After knight to b3, double check, the king would be forced back to b1, and now rook to a1 is game over. Um, now the game itself was, was 19 moves, so not every day you can take down the number one blitz player in the world in blitz in less than 20 moves. With, uh, with not just one, but two queen sacrifices. Um, now, I know some people in the YouTube comments will argue that this is not a queen sacrifice because black is mating, which is true. Um, but sometimes in life, I mean, you, you can sacrifice something and, and get, get something good in return. Um, like if I sacrifice a goat for a trillion dollars, I still sacrificed a goat. That was a really weird analogy. I think I'll leave that in though. Um, I think all I'll do is make a thumbnail for this video within the video, and then it'll be extra meta. And also, I'll show I'll show the secret in how to make an Agadmator style thumbnail. Shout out to Agadmator for being a huge inspiration to everyone. Um, so what I want to do, I want to search for thumbnail stuff, and now I have. I already have a few screenshots of uh, of my thumbnail stuff. A couple images of Nakamura. Um, I think I'm going to use 
this one. This is a picture I took um, a year or two ago. One of the, the St. Louis, I think it was the St. Field Cup. Um, Nakamura looks in pain. I don't have any pictures of Duda that I've taken, but I think this will be suitable for the thumbnail. Also have the screenshot of this Queen A3 move. So let's go in, let's make the thumbnail in Photoshop. We open up Photoshop. Um, oh, I was trying to find the color of the, the background earlier. Let's make a new thing. Uh, thumbnail for YouTube is usually 1280 by 720. Let's create and let's bring in the images. We'll start with the board. Um, now it's always a question, do we put the board on the left side or the right side? I'm gonna put it on the right side so the queen is centralized in the image. Um, just so people's eyes are, are drawn to the queen, the arrow should be, should be a nice leading line. Um, not gonna be too perfectionist here, but I do want the board to be as big as possible. Now let's bring in Nakamura uh, just drop him in there and we're going to size him up, make the, the face nice and big. And we do have to put him as a lower layer. Uh, let's make this even bigger. Hopefully Nakamura is not too uh, disappointed in this photo choice. But you, you can see the motion, like the, the combination of Queen A3 and this expression tells a, a very nice story. Um, and I will say during the speed chess championships, uh, Nakamura had internet issues. So his face was not visible, uh, during the time of this game. Do this face was, and he, he did seem to be relatively happy with himself, but we can only imagine that Nakamura was making a, a face like this. Um, so anyway, I think this will be the thumbnail. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more content. And feel free to comment below, um, what do you think the best game of 2019 would be? Was it this game? Are there other candidates? Uh, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do some more game analysis videos like this. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon.